is going on guys, and Newton here with MMO Player, bringing me a first look and an impressions video into Raven March, a free-to-play browser-based RTS style game. Now I have just logged into the game, and uh, I once had a town here, believe it or not, but now it is all destroyed, so we're gonna run around, check the game out for a few, kinda get my town going again, and uh, show you guys a little bit of what the game is about. So we're going to go ahead and click to repair our dwellings over here. There we go. We got a nice little house. Uh, this is kind of the only one that survived. Because like I said, I had a nice little town, but it was just destroyed by war. So we got a little bit of dialogue going on over here. Uh, there's a good story to the game if you guys like really like story with your games. Uh, I'm not paying too much attention to it, but uh, it does seem like there's a good quest line, good storyline to the game. And... Um, but we're going to go ahead and continue to check the game out. So, the interface of the game. The interface looks really nice. Uh, nothing new, very standard. Exactly what I'm used to for a browser-based MMORPG. Or in this case, this is an RTS-styled game. So, nothing really new here. Alright, so we got our main quest line. So, we got quests over here. The questing is very simple right off the bat. It basically, it just gets you used to and gets you started going with the game. So, we're going to go ahead and upgrade our dwellings over here. Click on this, kind of get a speed built. Not taking too long, we completed that quest, and we leveled up. So it's really taking no time at all. Upgrade this again, and pretty much the next few quests are going to have us upgrading this over here. So I'm going to kind of quickly go through them, and then get right into the combat. So there we go, we're going to go ahead and upgrade these. So like a normal RTS style game, there's a counter, so if you guys really want to wait for these to finish and not speed through it, you can do that. Which I assume eventually you'll probably run out of uh, speed builds, but for now... We're going to go ahead and keep speed building these because it's not really taking too long. And I want to get farther into the game to show you guys what it's about. So we've got a little bit more dialogue over here. Let's see if we can skip quickly skip through it all. And we're going to hit all. So this is going to give us basically all of our, um, not all of them, but most of our uh, dwellings or inns over, you can see over here. So most of our locations back. Alright, so we're going to click on this quest. Click all. Quickly build that one, that one. And this one over here, and back to this one. So a lot of it's just a lot of clicking and rebuilding stuff, but I promise there is combat coming up really soon. Alright, so a little bit more dialogue because of the quest, but like I said, I'm not really paying too much attention to it. You guys can if you wanted to, but I'm going to kind of skip through it. Now, what gets interesting here is basically it kind of lets you choose how you want to go along with your gameplay. So we can go ahead and join against uh, the Crazed Tyrant. We can uh, we can rebel against them. Um, yeah, we can rebel against the Crazed Tyrant. Um, we can join them and become allies with them. Or we can become completely neutral. So what I'm going to do is, why not fight against them? Let's create some havoc, start some war, and uh, really get going. Um, kind of make the king or the, um, the tyrants mad. Because who doesn't like starting some war? It seems like really fun. It seems like where this game should go, but like I said, it does give you some choices, and it's really up to you guys how you want to start playing the game, but I really want to start some wars, because I think it'd be fun. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and attack this first castle. This one's very, very simple, not much of a fight. Um, it's very um, simple, we kind of just one-hit them. There we go, instant victory, but I wouldn't expect it to be too hard right off the bat, because it does want us to get into the game, so I'm glad it does kind of make it nice and easy, but I wish they did put up a little bit more of a fight. So here we are. We're going to go ahead and attack the center fort over here. You can see our, our guys are charging in. And we're going to go ahead and fight them. Now this battle is fairly easy too. Um, not too much to it. But like I said early on, I'd hope that the battles would be easy. So that way we can get a good feel for the game. <laughs> they just took out all my troops. But that's okay. We got some more troops coming in from the back over here. And we're going to go ahead and pick our type of attack. Now what I like here is it shows us whether or not the attack is strong versus the opponent. In which case, because it's early on in the game, each of our attacks are very strong. Uh, seems like it took a little, me a little bit too long to pick, so I went ahead and picked one by default. And we just one hit the whole army and we took them out. So we got some victory. We got, um, shows us all the enemy slain. So we slain quite a few enemies, over a thousand enemies. That's pretty cool. Um, we got some XP, some money. We're gonna go ahead, hit OK, and continue. Uh, I really like this because, I mean, like, why not? Let's start a war. Let's create some havoc and get things going. And uh, there's some more dialogue for the quest. You can kind of see where the story goes based on your decisions. I really like that aspect of the game. It's really cool. But like I said, it is really up to you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and skip through this because I'm not really interested in the story quest. I want to get more into the combat and more of the gameplay and show you guys really where the game goes. All right. And now after that, we can kind of choose where we want to go. 
So, um, we can't go to the League, it seems like, but we seems like we can choose the Kingdoms or the Empire. So, more decisions based on where you want to bring your gameplay, which is another really cool feature. Um, I'm gonna go with the Empire, just because it sounds cooler. I mean, let's join the Empire, the big and mighty Empire. Alright, so now this is where the, pretty much like the main questing or the main town hub is gonna be, based on where you're gonna go. And, um, it's really nice. I really like the artwork to the game. It looks really nice. Uh, got a cool floating castle over here. Some different stuff we can select and do. Um, so we got some more for the storyline. Go ahead and click that. And we're gonna go over here to the sawmill. And basically, this is where you're really gonna get going and start building more locations to really get some resources. And really strengthen your army and town and so on. So we're gonna go ahead and click through this. And let's see, let's see, we're going to go ahead and click on one of these, and we're going to start fighting some more people, alright. So we got some more people over here, let's see if they um, put up more of a fight. So click here to block the enemy's tactics, alright, sounds good. So we're going to go ahead and block their attacks, not going to deal too much to them, and we just took them out really quickly again. And uh, they took out our first wave, but let's see, um, oh no, the bandits... Uh, click here to block the enemy's tactics. Okay, so it seems like you got to pick up decisions to block and counter the enemy's tactics, which is pretty cool. I like that. It supplies a little bit of strategy to the game, which is um, which I would hope because it is an RTS-styled game, a real-time strategy. So I'd hope there would be a little bit of planning and strategy to the fight. So that's pretty cool. Not too difficult again, but like I said, I hope it wouldn't be. But it's still it's getting a little bit more challenging and a little bit more fun the farther you progress in the game. So we're going to go ahead and hit OK. Got some more dialogue over here, some um, progression in the story quest. Let's see if we can skip through all of this. And there we go. But other than that, guys, that's it for this video. So if you've enjoyed, don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe for more. But until next time, guys, I will talk to you later.